We're going to take a look at some of the rocker clutches and the differences. This here rocker clutch is off our 38 knuckle. You can see the double spring set up here and you can see how thin this is with this little bracket up here. And this is old chrome that somebody's blacked over. If you look at this side over here. We've got a two hole here. A 36 and 7 as far as I know all those two years just had a two hole rocker with a different pedal. We don't have one of those to discuss that I have access to. I've got one stashed in my stuff, but it's not available to us. But the key thing here is this is on the 38. Now we're going to go over to a couple of our knuckleheads over here. And this is really interesting because here we have Greeny, or 40. And as mentioned, we know we have the Harley Davidson replacement fork, a Dash 46 replaced Speedo, and a later replaced horn. And we have this rocker clutch. See with the backing there, with the skinny back here. Now well, that's the same rocker clutch. That is on the 38. And we have a chrome spring, which we went through the whole chrome issue. We have a parkerized back here. Now the 40 pedal is a little bit different. It's a little bit shorter. But it's got this section in the back here. And here we have This 40 with the shorter pedal. This is a nickeled cover with the later wider back here. This is the shorter pedal. So we have two rocker clutches in 40. And what's interesting is that police bike is a lower number than Greeny. Here's our 41 with the wider late back on it. If we can see that or not. There we go. Now we can see it. And here's our 57 here. Now this has a stainless cover, that's chrome, and this is stainless here, it's got the wider back on it, there, now in the late days, around here, there's a Zert fitting, when they come out with that, I don't know, but, see so we have this Omil 57 with a painted rocker clutch, you follow? And we have our original paint 47 here with a parkerized rocker clutch. And this is painted. It's got the wide brace there in the back. Is the difference? Now, here we have our 41 here with a parkerized pedal and this was painted it's just rough and we have this 41 over or 40 over here with a black pedal that's painted it's real interesting the back the whole back here and you can see it or not all of this appears to be painted And then we've got Greeny with a parkerized pedal. And this is parkerized here and this is painted. Now, 
Let's go to our other knuckles here. We have a painted pedal. And it painted black. This is all painted. And we have this 47 here with a park rice pedal and park rice black. So the question is, because there's so much retouching on that 38, is this a retouched pedal or original paint? And I don't know. I don't know at this time. We're going to clean it up and see if we can find out. So if it's a retouched one, obviously we want to get rid of the retouched paint and get the original patina underneath. But uh, at this point in time, I couldn't tell you. We're going to pull it apart because this has never been greased in however many decades. The only way to grease them is to pull them off like this and pull them apart. So I've already taken this lock tab here and pushed it back and I'm soaking it with Gibbs. So I'm hoping to move the shop here really soon. So if this is my last video for a while, you'll have to understand. I know this week whether I get to play some after. Hopefully, and we'll make some videos as we move. But that's the plan. So I, I, it's, we've got this tin building. It's freaking 90 some degrees today. You know how much I got done today? Almost nothing because it's too freaking hot and my landlord cannot understand that. So uh, we've got to go from here. Hopefully I've got a place soon. I'll know this week or not. And I'll be updating accordingly. So if I can get over there and get in, in, you know, make it happen and get where it's not too hot and too cold and I can work more and get more stuff done. Uh, that's the plan. So we shall see if it succeeds. So there's Greenie, that's where she's at. And uh, just uh, hoping for the best move. So we're slowly going. Oh, here's the seat I selected for the bug. I really love this seat. It is a correct 50 seat. It was a deluxe seat at one time. The little plastic back in the back here always tears off. But I've jujued it with the Picard. It's all nice and soft and juicy. And see the early seats here in the 40s and 50s have the uh, if we can get it underneath here or not. See the edge here? The edge? That's dark. The one that came on the bug, which is over here now. Now this is a Dash 47 seat as far as when it was made, but they still make them today. You can buy brand new ones from Harley today of this seat. And it's got a nice patina. Came with this tear. But this here was the brown. See the brown here? That was not made until the 60s. There's no date code on it, so I don't know when. It could be a 70s seat. I have no idea. It just you know, got mistreated. It's a 60s or 70s seat. It's certainly not a 50s seat. It's got the brown underneath. But that's the seat I got it with. So we put on a more correct era seat. And... Uh, I do have a seat stash somewhere that has a really good back rail. So hopefully I'll be able to pull that out and stick that on there. But uh, our seat post is all nice and juicy now. It's all happy. I'm just waiting on that dumbass left exhaust pipe. And uh, my guy's making me new leather for the bags. So we have no old stock tires on her. Brand new old stock. The rubber, never been on the road. 
and uh, had this primary, if you guys recall, had dents on the top. It's undented now. Our floorboard had brass repair underneath. Here it's all nice and juicy. Those are old stock rivets. And all the braces and rivets underneath are all new old stock. That super cherry is what hit when I went in the ditch was this. Didn't get the board, it just got this. And this had been put on incorrectly. So we, my guy carefully took it off, we rooted it with real rivets. And you can't even tell it's been done, it's just wow. So, and, and I wanted to save them because this has never been ground off. They're usually ground off on the sides. And again, we used a new old stock front crash bar. Brand new old stock. Yeah, she's coming along better than she ever was. She's getting close. She's getting real close. So, the big hold up is that left pipe. So, anyhow, that's our little update. And the main thing was the whole rocker clutch issue. But as you saw, you can have parkerized or black. And I know 36 and 7, a lot of the pedals were CAD. Now, from what we've seen of the differences in just these couple little bikes around us, it wouldn't surprise me if some of those were parkerized in black too. And as we saw, some guys ordered black everything. Wanted everything black. Or purple, or maroon, or green, or yellow, or whatever color they ordered. So, you know, base parts, the rocker clutch would be a base part. That order form we put up, we would have had a rocker clutch that's maroon. <laughs> a maroon rocker clutch from the factory. So, uh, here's our last surviving 49. And we've got the stainless cover with a black rocker clutch, with a black pedal. In the back, the base is black. And as we just saw, that's perfectly correct. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Here's our little James. Oh. This bike's real special because of who owned it. So she's just sitting here up at the front row, guiding the light. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.